see the collarbones coming in and the jawline bruv i was just clean eating boom <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to make this video, but I feel like there's a lot of girls that are just very uneducated on this topic and I just need to make this video because I managed to get from this to this in literally four weeks. Not on my goal yet. I'm not saying that I'm a dietitian. I'm not saying like I'm the best person to be like coming to you for weight loss tips because <laughs> I'm not that person. I'm not that bitch. Like, I'm not that girl. It's just like there's so many girls that just go through these issues. I'm like, it's infuriating. I just feel like I need to let the girlies know. I don't know because I've just been seeing some advice is bouquet. I see some advice that you do this and this and this and that and it's just like half the things that these people are telling you it's not even the case because they be telling you stuff like do this do this do this do this and half the time they're not even doing the same thing themselves and I found that I literally don't even listen to these online advice like, people make it seem like if you eat carbs it's the end of the world if you eat carbohydrates if you eat pasta rice bread then it's the end of the world and you're about to die I don't know why people on TikTok and YouTube they make it seem like carbs is your enemy girl let me tell you the real deal let me tell you the real spiel and things that i found on my weight loss journey i'm not on a weight loss journey i'd say i'd say that i want a healthy girl journey like i want to be that girl i want to be the girl that i desire to be in my dreams i don't want to be like anybody else i just want to be like me i feel like the minute that you start deciding to do things for yourself rather than other people is the minute that you're ready to become your best version of yourself because you have to learn to love yourself before you can do all of these things because if you hate yourself you're just gonna keep hating the process and if you hate the process the process is not gonna work first step is love yourself actually that's a lie the first step is discipline because there's a lot of you girlies that have no discipline people think that it takes let's say you you, you have a rough estimate that you want to lose weight 10 kg in six months fair but then you have a misconception that if you lose all these things you can go back to the way you're eating <laughs> babe that's not the case <laughs> that is not the case let me tell you the real spiel the minute you start your weight loss journey or your healthy girl journey where you want to start eating clean that needs to happen for the rest of your life not just a couple months not just a year not just a year or two that's for the rest of your life because the minute that you switch your diet to back to the old bad diet that you had before that's the minute that you go down the same slippery slope of losing yourself again if you are ready to change your life for the better and forever then you are ready to go on your weight loss journey or healthy girl journey era if you are not ready to discipline yourself if you are not ready to have the discipline that you need to start eating healthy and stop eating that junk food that you need to start making food for yourself that there is food at home if you are not ready for all of this don't even bother to watch this video. Don't even bother to be on this journey that you want to embark on. Just stick to the life that you're at. If you're not ready now, forget about it. Forget it. It's a healthy girl life, guys. The quality of my life has changed for the better. And that's because I started eating clean. The bloating, gone. Started drinking my greens. I was feeling like one pregnant woman. And all I did was follow the steps that I chose for myself, not the steps that I heard someone else tell me. I chose the best steps that I know would help fuel my body and help me keep going. Because I used to have very, very, very bad um, IBS, where IBS, if you have it, is the worst. And I'm also lactose, I think. So I diagnosed myself, yes. It was a lot of factors that I had to work like against. I worked for it and I got it. And I got it. So I'm about to tell you guys the top tips that really helped me. I'm not saying that's gonna help you 100%, but just putting this in your your routine could maybe help you going towards the path that you want to change in your life. Because in this era on this channel, we change for the better. We're healthy girls and we're positive girls. Period. And we're here to support each other. We love each other and I love you, which is why I'm giving you these tips. Okay. So all you need to do for me is subscribe, like, and comment on my video. Thank you. Okay. So imagine, yeah, mine used to look like this. Now I'm looking like this. Not gonna lie, I wanna look like Ooh, Megan the Stallion. But you know what? We're not all Megan. I will get there one day. Amen, amen. Say amen. Thank you. Okay, so people say don't track your calories, it can be toxic. And if it's too much for you, do not track your calories. That's fine. But being on a calorie deficit is definitely one of the things that you need to start if you do want to start to lose weight, if you do want to start to look a little bit fitter, right? So, for example, for me, I'm 21 years old, I weigh 65 kg, right? So, I had to put 65 kg inside of the little thing, and then it would tell me that I need to eat like 1,500 calories a day 
weight in order to lose weight. Probably, I was probably having like Tom Holiday like 3,000 calories a day. Damn, that's way too much. Half my calories were cut, right? So I feel like in the beginning it was easy for me to lose. Like right now I've lost like five kilos, right? It's been like five weeks, yeah? I cut my calories down to 1,500. Don't don't get me wrong. Of course, there's days I go over it, but the the maximum that I'm trying to eat is to 1,500 calories. And I use this app called Lose It to track my calories. But some people don't really like tracking their calories, which is fine. But if you do intuitive eating, where you know that okay, this meal, let's say, round up to 500 calories, you don't have to be that boring person that's always counting calories. You don't have to be that person. I just like to be that bitch. <laughs> if you at least know what you're putting into your body is good it's fine and also another thing that i do i don't count my um fruits and vegetable intake as my calories because they are very very minimal calories and they're really really good for your body so i don't count that towards the calorie goal which is also a really good tip that you should probably do also in terms of counting calories don't be too strict on yourself in this life you only live once if you want to eat that burger be obviously smart with it. Be smart with it. But if you honestly are craving something, give in to your cravings. The reason why I'm telling you that you should give in to your cravings is because if you keep pushing this craving away for a couple days, it will come to a day where you literally cannot even handle the fact that this craving is there and then you binge. And then when you binge, you probably know how it feels. It's really shit feeling. You just feel like the, the, it's the end of the world and that you've literally just ended all your progress, blah, blah, which is not true, but it could be true. So to avoid this from happening i'd say if you have a craving or something be smart with it but just give in to your craving so that it doesn't lead into a disaster in the end and another thing that i was going to say with calories is because you want to start eating healthy babe get rid of the snacks the snacks need to go our sight our mind if you can't see the snacks you're not going to eat the snacks but if you can see the snacks you're going to eat the snacks it's, it's inevitable we're human it's, an, it's a human kind of thing if you see it you want it <laughs> type shit type shit yeah because there, there comes a time that when you start healthy eating that your body doesn't even need the snacks because it has so much good nutrition that the, like all the snacking that you're doing right now gone don't get me wrong you may do the occasional snack 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 here and there you can just snack on some fruits and some nuts but all the snacks on the crisps and all the artificial stuff trust me your body will not even crave for it once you start this journey trust me and if it does come slap me <gasps> don't actually do that <laughs> don't actually do that another thing to start in your healthy girl era you need to be drinking water i'm not telling you right now that you need to drink two liters a day i'm not telling you but at least getting some hydration into your body please your body needs it your body is begging for the water please feed your body water because a lot of times that like, your body is not even hungry you have the hunger cue but your body mistakes being thirsty and hungry so there's a lot of times where your body might think that you're hungry and you might have like oh i'm feeling a little bit hungry no babe you're just thirsty. Of course, the goal is two liters a day. We love it to see it when it's two liters, three liters, even better. Ew, is that real? Your body needs the water, babe. Please don't dehydrate your ba your body, yeah? Your body is your sanctuary. Take care of it. Another thing, portion control. Like I said, you can eat the burger, but be smart with how you eat it. Don't be eating two burgers in one sitting, babe. What the hell is this? 1,000 calories gone like that? Nah, nah, nah. You need to push and control your food. Eat the carbs. You need carbs to survive. I don't understand how people go on keto diets because carbs is literally so good. Like, how can you not eat bread? There's this boy that literally got me into eating feta. I love feta. Like, just getting, like, inspiration from people, like, even avocados. Oh, my gosh, avocados are so good. You need, like, healthy fats avocado dairy feta yeah you need carbs some pasta some rice some bread have a balanced diet but push and control it i'm not gonna tell you how to push and control your food because the way i push and control my food may, may not be the same to you reason why is because our calories may be different but be smart with the way you're pushing your food i've literally been in my house the whole day and my phone's on seven percent we love to see it next be more active invest in one of these watches if you can be more active even if you're in your house the whole day go up and down the stairs and walk to the shops even if you're not buying anything walk around the shops yeah get them steps we love to see when you're reaching 10,000 steps a day. We love to see it. Right now, my Apple Watch is set to 7,000 steps a day because to me, getting 10,000 steps every single day is an armless to go unless you live in the suburbs. I'm a city girl. How can I get 10,000 steps a day? Like, unless I'm at work. So I've set my goal to it being like 7,000 steps a day. If I don't get 7,000, it's okay. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I don't exercise like every single day of the week. I know some people do. And of course, if you exercise, the more you exercise, like the more you can eat. 
I'll touch on that one in a second. But I'm just saying, the more you exercise, is the more that you, the quicker that you burn everything, the more you can eat a balanced diet. But I'm not saying that when you go to the gym and you lose 400 calories, that means that you can eat 400 calories extra. Hell no. See, that's where people go wrong. They think that if you go to the gym, you lose 400 calories, that means you have an extra 400 calories in the bank. <laughs> See, this is why you're not losing weight. This is why, because you're not locked in. That's not the case, babes. And trust me, everyone's been through it. I've been through it. I thought the same thing, that you can eat extra calories just because you went to the gym. Hell no. I was humbled. I was humbled when I stepped on the scale, and I was like, bruh, why is this scale saying 68? Why did I gain? It's because I thought that I could eat more because I was going to the gym so often. Hell no. So don't be mistaken on that kind of thing. Yeah, but just stay active where you can don't push yourself too too hard because you don't want your body to be drained out like you want to fall in love with the process you don't want this process to feel like a chore because if this process is gonna stay for like quite a long time you're gonna wanna wanna love it rather than it being like this is like the worst times of my life you know yeah another thing is keep a diary there'll be days where you're tempted to obviously like eat really bad we all have those bad days but just keep a diary on how you feel because there'll be a day where you reach your goal and then you just read back on like the times where you're really down and it just makes you feel like wow i really overcame all these obstacles that i was going through i love reading my diary i don't know what my diary is right now actually this is my diary but there'll be no it's not my diary you just have that off day where you just feel like it. even though you didn't fail yourself you just feel like oh my gosh i failed this day like i've been doing so well and then this day i just went down in the drain write the diary because once you keep the diary of these like off days that you have you go back on it and you're just like wow i really did that i really did that gosh, trust me it's literally so nice looking back on it um i intermittent fast not too strict there's a lot of people that are really strict with the intermittent fasting eat at 11 stop eating at 7 blah blah my um times that i do is 10 30 to 6 30 but i'm not too too strict with it if i'm feeling really hungry after 6 30 i'll have fruit i'll have veg because again i don't count the calories on those tea coffee i try not to have coffee too much after 6 30 just because the caffeine and obviously but like i'm hungry before 10 30 in the morning we is gonna eat because actually studies have proven intermittent fasting isn't a way to lose weight even though it's helpful even if you eat at 8 p.m it doesn't mean that you're not gonna lose the weight you still will because it's all down to the calories that you're eating in a day but intermittent fasting just means that your body just digests it the food that you have properly before you go to bed to be honest i don't want to talk too too tough because i don't want to be encouraging someone i don't want someone to be listening to me thinking that i'm a dietitian and i know what i'm talking about <laughs> me no this is just things that just help me stop my big back activity like, this is just things that just helped me it's helped a lot of other people it's helped my friends doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody yeah that's what i'm saying it's definitely a, a step in the right direction if you do want to enter your healthy girl era because i've been clean eating for five weeks i have never felt better i sleep so much better my digestion is better i don't have bloating so just these are things that help me and i really really hope that they help you too if you're embarking on this journey and i do wish you the best of luck and if you have embarked on this journey and you succeeded congratulations Congratulations. If you're in the middle of it like me, then we can do this fighting, fighting. Those are just my top tips. Didn't want to talk too, too tough on it. But I really hope that these tips do help you. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any tips for me, um, all is welcome. Because man's trying to have the slim tick waist before summer. Trying to get to Brazil, yeah? Trying to look like a slim ting in Brazil. Thank you so much for watching if you didn't make it this far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, see. And all my other socials are in the description below. But I have already been your girl, Louise. And I'll see you in my next YouTube video. And that's on what? And that's on period. Period of breakfast. Bye. And young, stay healthy, drink water, and mind your business.